This problem asks us to calculate the net torque, about 0.0, on the plate. The torque created by a force F is the vector cross product R cross F, where R is the vector from the pivot, O in this case, to the force. So here are the three R vectors, one for each force. The vector torque has a magnitude given by RF sine of phi, where phi is the angle between the two vectors, R and F, and it has a direction given by the right-hand rule. Another way to calculate the magnitude of torque is to use force times moment arm, where the moment arm is d. That's the method I'll use in this problem. So let's take a minute and calculate all the moment arms. To find the moment arm, start by drawing the line of action, an imaginary line through the force. Here's the line of action for force F1. And then draw a perpendicular line from that line of action to the pivot, that's the shortest distance between the line of action and the pivot. So there's D1. We do the same thing for force 2 with a line perpendicular going to the pivot. And then for force F3. Given the geometry, see that D3 has the same length as vector R3. So D1 and D2 are half the side of the square plate. And D3 has a length of 0 0.127 meters. Now let's get the direction of each of these torques. Notice first that if the pivot is at O, then force F1 pushing down tends to make this plate rotate clockwise. If you turn your right hand fingers in the clockwise direction, your thumb points into the screen. That we typically call the negative direction. So this is a negative torque. For force F2, with the same pivot, we see the torque would tend to make the plate rotate in the counterclockwise direction. Again, curling the right hand fingers that way, the thumb points out of the screen in the direction we usually call positive. In force F3, with the same pivot, we see again a counterclockwise rotation, so it's a positive torque. You can also find the direction of the torque by finding the direction of the R cross F vector. For force F1, R1 is this way, force F1 is down, so putting the fingers of the right hand along R1, curling them towards F1, the thumb points into the screen in the negative direction. For force F2, R2 is this way, curl the right hand fingers down in the direction of F2, and now your thumb points out of the screen, that's positive. And for force F3, it looks like this, right hand fingers along R3, curl them towards F3, and your thumb points out in the positive. So now we know the signs for each of these torques, and we can add up all the torques about 0.0, letting torques coming out of the screen be positive. The first torque is negative, with a magnitude of the force times the moment arm, D1. The second torque is positive, magnitude of force 2, moment arm of force 2. And the third torque is positive, magnitude of force 3, times the moment arm, D3. When you add all of those up, you find it equals 2.50 newton meters. The net torque is positive with a magnitude of 2.5 newton meters.